What up guys, Miguel here of Yuga Tech, and I know, I know, we've all been there trying to get online and struggling with a sluggish Wi-Fi connection. While your internet service provider might be the ultimate determinant of your download and upload speeds, there are still some steps you can take to improve your Wi-Fi. Let's jump in. First and foremost, check your router's settings. Make sure that it is set to the right channel and that you are using the most up-to-date firmware. You can also try changing your router's position and its antennas to improve the signal strength. If you have multiple devices connected to your Wi-Fi network, disconnect those that don't need internet. This will help free up bandwidth so that devices that are still connected can access the internet faster. You can also try switching to a different Wi-Fi frequency band as an alternative way to improve your connection speeds. Most routers broadcast on both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. However, in general, the 5 GHz band is a better option since it is typically faster and less congested than the 2.4 GHz band. This makes it an ideal choice for those who are struggling with slow connection speeds. Additionally, if you are in a crowded area with many other networks, the 5 GHz band can provide a better connection since it is less susceptible to interference. Keep in mind the main caveat here would be the lesser connection range compared to the 2.4 GHz band. Next, make sure that your devices are still running the latest software. Outdated software and drivers can prevent your devices from connecting to the internet at their optimal speeds. You can also take measures to reduce interference from other electronics and appliances. Try to keep your router away from microwaves, cordless phones, or other devices that may cause interference. You can also check to see if your router is set to use the right frequency by using a Wi-Fi analyzer app. Some of you may have already experienced this. The Wi-Fi router is in the living area and you want to connect it to your bedroom on the second floor. To remedy this, you can use a mesh network or range extenders to extend your Wi-Fi signal over a wider area. This will help to ensure that your devices are always connected to the strongest signal, which can help improve your overall connection speed. We do, however, recommend mesh Wi-Fi routers if you can afford them. Think of them as smart Wi-Fi routers once you have your mesh network properly set up. That means turning off the Wi-Fi signal on the stock modem router you get from your ISP. Yeah, that's you, Greg. Your mesh network should then be smart enough to divide your upload and download bandwidth to the connected devices accordingly. I think we all know by now that the stock modem router combos we get from our ISPs are good enough, but could definitely be better. For an even greater boost to your Wi-Fi speed, you may want to consider turning off the Wi-Fi connection from your stock router and upgrading it. Look for routers with the latest technology and features such as the latest 802.11ac standard or MU MIMO technology. These features will help you achieve faster connection speeds and better range. Additionally, newer models may offer more Ethernet ports that aren't locked up by your ISP or advanced features such as parental controls. You can also consider using a dedicated router for gaming or streaming media. Dedicated gaming routers are designed to provide faster speeds and reduce lag, making them ideal for gaming and streaming. And finally, consider contacting your internet service provider to upgrade your speed package. If you are able to upgrade to a faster package, you should be able to enjoy even more speed and reliability for your Wi-Fi connection. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about finding those bottlenecks and figuring out how you can optimize them for yourself, your family, and maybe your business. By taking these simple steps, you can be sure to enjoy a faster Wi-Fi connection and getting back to the web. With the right combination of hardware and software, you can definitely get the most out of your internet connection. So, did you learn something new from this video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that bell icon so you get notified of future uploads. Be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel, and I'll see you in the next one.